The full opening of the nation's newest port terminal is expected to have a major impact on the low country's economy. News 2's Katie Turner was there as that first ship docked at the UK Leatherman Terminal. Former State Senator Hugh Leatherman celebrating a momentous occasion, 20 years in the making. Worked well together and we are finally here today. The terminal that shares the state senator's name waited patiently for a cargo ship to arrive. Slowly but surely, the Yorktown Express sailed into the Charleston Harbor, going down in history as the first vessel to dock at the terminal. This is huge for our team. This is huge for the state. Um, for me, you know, I, I didn't think I would see this day come. I've been out here a long time. This massive state-of-the-art port is the most modern in the U.S. Billion-dollar capital investment, more than a billion dollars that's coming to fruition just at the right time. Coming off a record-breaking month, moving nearly 250,000 container units. SC Port says the pandemic is actually heating up their industry. Consumers have changed the way that they order goods, and it's really made ports an extremely important part of the conversation for infrastructure in our nation. More cranes, more cargo, and more containers. Full build out, it will nearly double our capacity. The Leatherman Terminal is expected to help the state keep up with the competitive shipping industry. The name of the game for ports is capacity and how much cargo can you move through your facilities. Setting sail on the promise of an even more productive tomorrow. And the world really needs that kind of capacity in the supply chain. We're opening it. From the Charleston Harbor, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two. And phase one of the UK Leatherman Terminal costs $1 billion, but that's just the start. Phase two construction is underway, and by the time the project is complete, there will be three berths and 15 cranes.